And in health news, two 14-year-old boys have been diagnosed with a rare form of meningitis. After being vaccinated for chickenpox, doctors say both boys receive the recommended dose of the vaccine, varicella. Over 50 million doses of the vaccine have been distributed. And although it is safe, it can have reactivate certain viruses. It's a complicated topic here. Dr. Jen Cottle joins me now to discuss. So I'm one of the few who never got chicken pox growing up. I didn't either. And then before I got mm -hmm. pregnant, I did get the vaccine. That's right. And now it's given to most kids. That's exactly right. So when, when I was growing up, I didn't actually get the chicken pox myself, but there was a vaccine developed in 1995. Mm -hmm. And ever since about 2006, we've been giving two doses of the varicella or chicken pox vaccine to kids mm -hmm. between 12 to 15 months of age and four to six years of age. Right. So in this particular case with these two boys, yeah. it is extremely rare, but it can reactivate. That's a, I mean, I think you said it the right way. So this is a case report. So we're talking about two rare cases where two children had the vaccines like they were supposed to. Then they had a reactivation of the virus, which can happen, mm -hmm. um, but it led to a very sort of severe disease called meningitis, which is an infection of the brain and the spinal cord. Now, what's different about this and what we've seen in the past is when we've seen cases of this reactivation after people have gotten the vaccine in the past, it's only been after they've gotten one vaccine and not the two recommended doses, okay? Mm -hmm. So it's a lot of talk that we, you know, I know there's a lot of big words and a lot of stuff that we're talking about. But I think the real focus here, and what I want people to understand is that these were very unfortunate cases, although both children were treated mm -hmm. successfully. Um, but I think we need to understand that it's very rare. So don't discourage that's, people from getting the that's vaccine. That's right. And actually, almost more than anything for us doctors, what we need to take from it is that this is a possibility. So we need to kind of be on alert mm -hmm. and on the lookout. But the bigger point is, guys, let's not deter us from getting the vaccine because of these case reports, okay? Because it can be serious the older you get chickenpox. Uh, absolutely. And we know that the chickenpox vaccine protects us. 3.5 million cases of the chickenpox would happen if we didn't have this vaccine. Wow. Um, thousands of uh, hundreds of deaths and thousands of hospitalizations. People think the chickenpox are no big deal. That is not necessarily the case. So we want to prevent the chicken pox. Mm -hmm. That means getting the vaccine is still by far recommended. Yeah, the reactivation is extremely rare. And the, the reactivation options, turning to meningitis exactly, absolutely exactly. Is, is rare. Absolutely. But it is worth getting the oh, chicken pox vaccine. Yes, chil uh, parents get your, your children vaccinated. Right, Dr. Jen Cottle, good to see you. It's Thank good to you. see you too. Thank you.